Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn about a very important nomenclature that is called as Klein Prelog nomenclature. So why this nomenclature is important? It will be important to understand uh, the some terminologies that we are going to see in the conformation analysis. That is the next topic that we are going to study. So in this video, we will see what is dihedral angle. And we will also understand some terminologies like synperiplanar, synclinal, anticlinal, and antiperiplanar. So let us first see what is the meaning of a dihedral angle. What is the meaning of a dihedral angle? What is a dihedral angle? It is an angle between two planes. It is an angle between two planes. So as you can see here in the image, there is one plane beta and another plane alpha. This angle between the two planes that is shown in orange, this is let's say theta. This is nothing but this is called as a dihedral angle. Okay, now if I want to understand in terms of chemistry, let us first understand with an example of H2O2. This is what? This is H2O2. This is hydrogen, let's say 1 oxygen 1 o2 and h2 okay so this is h2o2 this has open book like structure as you can see here it is open book like structure in 3d so here you can see let's say this oh bond oh1 okay this lies in this plane let's say this is a and there is another oh bond let's say this is oh2 this lies in this another plane, this is let's say B. So the angle between plane A and plane B, this is shown by this, this white line, this arc, white arc, this is nothing but this is called as a dihedral angle. Okay, so what is dihedral angle? It is the angle between the two planes or if we see in Newman projection formula, okay, Newman projection formula, you will see that it is nothing but it is same as the angle between two bonds that are not connected to each other which are not directly attached to each other angle between the two bonds is called as a dihedral angle okay what is the dihedral angle it is the angle between two bonds here it is two OH bonds are the both o, both hydrogens attached to same oxygen no they are attached to different oxygens so what is a dihedral angle? It is the angle between the two bonds. Okay, so now let us understand what is the klein prelog system of nomenclature. klein prelog nomenclature. Okay, so first part is consider this circle. The above half of the circle is called as sin and below half of the circle is called as anti. Okay, then here these angles, this is 0 degree means this is the dihedral angle. Okay, if the dihedral angle is Z is between 0 to 30, then it is called as sin. If it is between 30 to 150, then it is called as clinal. Sorry, here it is peri, not sin, it is peri. Peri, clinal. Then between 150 to 180, if the angle is between 150 to 180, then also it is called as peri. 180 to 210, again it is called peri. Then between 210 to 330. Now if I move anti-clockwise direction, we can call this 210 angle as minus 150 as well because anti-clockwise we add the negative sign. So either we can call minus 150 or 210 degree. So 210 to 330, this is again called as clinal. Okay, then 330 to 360, this is again called as peri. Okay, now let us uh, combine both of them and let us see what is the actual nomenclature. So suppose the angle is here, dihedral angle is 0. Then what I will call this, this lies in the area of sin, the above half circle, so it is sin and peri, so we call it as sin peri, we write sin peri. 
if let's say the dihedral angle is 60 degree then we will call it as again it is above half so sin then this lies in the dark blue region that is clinal so we call it as synclinal if the angle is let's say 120 then it will be anti now we have come in the region of below circle okay below half of the circle so one, 120 degree will be called as anti and then again dark blue region so it is clinal okay region between 30 and 150 that is why anti cleaner now suppose it is 180 degree then again it is anti and now it is peri okay if it is exactly 180 so anti peri and now if it is somewhere here then again it will be anti cleaner if it is here then it is synclinal because we are now in the region of above half of the circle that is synclinal okay so in this way you can give the nomenclature to the conformations based on their dihedral angle now let us understand this in much detail with the help of an example okay so we are going to see the examples of conformations of butane what is butane it is a four carbon alkane ch3 ch2 ch2 and ch3 okay we give the name based on the dihedral angle between the bulkier groups so here you can see both the ch3 what is the angle angle here is zero degree okay they are this front ch3 is exactly in front of this uh, ch3 attached to the adjacent carbon but but the backside methyl group is visible so we write like this okay the actual angle is zero there is no angle difference between the two methyl groups so zero okay above one is what sin below half of the circle is anti okay remember this this region was peri this region is also peri this is cleaner and this is cleaner okay now you can see angle is zero so we will write and it is above half of the circle so we will write sin then sin and it lies in the angle of 0 to 30 so sin peri and both the methyl groups are in the same plane so we will write planar okay so name of this configure conformation is sin peri planar conformation okay this is one of the important structures now let us see this one here what is the angle see total angle is 360 so this is 120 this angle is 120 and this angle is 120 okay now here this is what this is half of 120 this is 120 so this will be half means here angle is 60 above half of the circle so sin and then this is at an angle of 60 degree which lies in the region of clinal so sin clinal okay now let us see the next structure here the angle is how much angle is 120 degree okay angle between the two methyl groups is 120 so now we are in the below half of the circle okay this is let's say midline below half so it will be anti anti and then again it is in the region of clinal so it is anti clinal okay now let us see this example here you can see both the methyl groups are at an angle of how much this angle is how much 180 degree okay so again below half of the circle so it is anti and peri okay here it is we are in the region of peri so we write anti peri and both these groups are in the same plane so we call it as anti peri planar this is very very important because this is an important stereochemist uh, important condition for elimination reaction okay that we will see later on for e2 elimination reaction this condition is very important okay let's say there is this hydrogen and the living group let's say chlorine both are in the at an angle of 180 degree in the same plane 
So this condition is called an anti-periplanar condition. This is important for elimination reaction. Let's say I bring any base. Okay, that will abstract this proton. There will be formation of double bond and Cl will go away as a living group. Okay, so this is a very important uh, terminology for elimination reaction. Okay, now let us see this one. Here again, what is the angle? It is 120. Difference is 120. So, this is again, we are below the, in the, below half of the circle. So, we will write anti and clinal. And last one, here again, this angle is how much? 60 degree. Okay, now we have come in the region of above half of the circle. Above half of the circle, so we will write sin and then clinal. Okay, so this, this was the nomenclature of different conformation based on the klein prelog nomenclature. I hope you have understood all the terminologies as well as what is dihedral angle. Thank you so much.